What's up, everybody? Peace for two two. We hope we have a great day today. Welcome to the ninth race in the Unreal Basarel GoPro Truck Series. Today, we are from Kentucky Speedway in Spur, Kentucky, for the University of Northern Ohio 2.5. Happy New Year to everybody watching live on Twitch. It will be uploaded in a few days on YouTube, and it's also part of Friday Night Lights since New Year's Eve. No, I mean, New Year's Day is on a uh, Friday night. And well, we're streaming on New Year's Day, so and we're at Kentucky in the night, so we call it Friday Night Lights. On the pole today is Jake Ferguson, Grayson Acevedo struts in second. Facts for today, um, 15 laps are scheduled, so it's a 200, uh, it's a 22 and a half mile race. You guys know the track facts already. Uh, it's cloudy, 78 degrees, south winds of 90 miles an hour. Let's go track side. For the command to start the engines. The 40 engines are fired up. Let's hope these Chevys, Fords, and Toyotas, and maybe Dodgers, I don't know, they don't have Ricky Allen problems. The starting lineup's gonna be on the top of your screen for you, YouTubers watching. It looks like they're all good. Ten drivers have onboards for today. We're going to start with the four of Cody Prince with the Toyota onboard. The six, Jake Ferguson with the Chevy onboard. Wait, no, no, no. Not Jake Ferguson, sorry. Edwin Mendez with the Krispy Kreme onboard. I'm looking at the IndyCar onboard stuff. Cremations with the locomotives onboard. Timothy Peters with the Goodyear onboard. Stephanie Naylor with the Cooper Standard on board. Tom Weekly with the Ream on board. John Racer with the good with the Chevy on board. Derek Glenn with the Goodyear on board. Derek Shower, actually he's got the Goodyear on board. Uh, and then William Russell has the final on board. Pace car is off. Jake Ferguson on the inside. Grayson Alcevedo is on the outside. Here we go. The, the University of Northern Ohio, Uno 225, Kentucky is green. Let's do this. Ferguson's going to get the good start. Maddox, looks like he's going to go in the second position. Heiko Shot Jr. is still battling the, him, though. Now we saw in the IndyCar race, we saw a lot of three wide and four wide racing. That, but that's an IndyCar though. Don't expect that in any of the stock cars or trucks that we have. You see Ricky Maddox with help from Grayson Acevedo to the bottom, bottom for the lead. Ferguson though, he's going to have the preferred line. Acevedo makes it three wide. Ferg Ferguson's going to keep the lead. Ethan Prince looks like he's going for third on Acevedo. Prince goes to third. And now he's going to try second. I don't think he'll be able to get that done just yet. Michael Gregory trying Acevedo for fourth. Here comes Christian Cook in the 35. He's going to try and make it three wide. That might cost Gregory a bunch of spots. Who knows? Acevedo tries third on Ethan Prince once again. Can't do it. Look at this. This is a really good battle going on here. For the top five spot. The final top five spot actually. Christian Cook actually has the advantage now. The three wide. Cam Haas, Hayden Cargo, and Tony Green. Tony Green's going to lose a bunch of spots. It's because he's in the low line. Low line is not the preferred line you want to go. Ethan Prince now trying second on, on Ricky Maddox. Cannot get it done just yet. Oh, he's, he actually lost third to Grayson Acevedo. He might lose this position to Christian Cook as well. 
Maddox is battling Alcevedo now for second. Ten laps to go in Kentucky. Ethan Prince going to go back to third on Acevedo and Cook. And now look at the move Ethan Prince is trying to make on the bottom. That might be risky because you see Acevedo is up high. This could cost him some spots, but man, Jake Ferguson doing an amazing job behind the wheel. Knows what line to take. Nine laps to go. Nobody has wrecked yet. Three wide for third. Here comes Stephanie Nail in the 29. Here's the arm of Nailo. You're watching the battle for third on Acevedo and Prince. See a lot of single fire races going on right now. Here's the best battle. Cam Haas, Michael Gregory. You see Haas has help from Hayden Caldwell. Michael Gregory's got help from Roddy Johnson in the double zero. He is back for the first time in weeks in that truck. Now Nalo tries the bottom on Prince, but Prince now goes to the bottom on Acevedo. That might be risky once again. It actually is not going to be risky at all. Seven to go. Cook looking up high. He's on he's on holding Gluba. And now Cook try, he looks like he's gonna try the bottom on Stephanie Naylor, but that will not work out. That might even cost Christian Cook some spots, actually. Gluba now trying the bottom on Cook. Six to go. Cook is caught up to Stephanie Naylor. Wow, what a pass Christian Cook makes using a draft with Ethan Prince, and we got a battle for second as well. Grayson Acevedo, Ricky Maddox. Five to go. If we get a caution flag now, we are going into a green white checkered. Three wide, four wide, look at this. They have done four wide in a truck before they have made it. These trucks are good at going four wide. But cup cars, no. I mean, they even won four wide at Martinsville when we raced there. And they made it through, and I couldn't even believe it. That was the greatest... That was the greatest save I've ever, I ever saw. And we got four to go. Cam Haas, Tony Green battling once again with Michael Gregory and Marty Johnson. Maddox tried to get to the bottom on Acevedo but couldn't do anything about it. Single fire once again. At the line, three laps to go. Nayla trying the bottom on Christian Cook. I don't think she'll be able to do anything about it. Tony Green and Marty Johnson battling it out. This is for seventh. Nothing. Acevedo has actually gotten the second. We didn't even see that. But now can Acevedo catch the dominant driver of Jake Ferguson? Two to go. Your top three all part-time drivers. And fourth is Ethan Prince. Is he going to try the bottom? He's, he's, he's there, but he's not going to be risky about this move. Acevedo, he's there, he's trying the bottom. He can't do anything about it. Here they come, white flag. One more time around Kentucky. Can Jake Ferguson get his first one of the season? Or will Grayson Acevedo spoil the party for him? It looks like he won't be able to do anything about it. He's not going to catch up to him. 
Last chance coming off turn number four. Can he go to the bottom? No, he will not. Jake Ferguson is going to win the Uno 225 at, two, at Kentucky. And that is it. Ah, uh, not exciting as the Indy race, though. So those are, your, those are your official results. Jake Ferguson, the winner. Grayson Acevedo, second. Ricky Maddox, third. Ethan Prince, fourth. Christian Cook, fifth. Stephanie Naylor, sixth. Tony Green, seventh. Marty Johnson, eighth. Cam Haas, ninth. And Michael Gregory rounds out the top ten. Here's the rest of the field. You see two drivers actually retired from the race. That's shocking. We didn't see that. It was Katie Collins and Zach Flickinger. But yeah, when we come back, we are going to give you the points. And here are the truck series point standings. Stephanie Naylor goes up two spots and takes the points lead. Cody Prince and Derek Shower each drop a spot down to second and third. Tom Weekly gains four spots into fourth. But look at the biggest gain in points. Cam Haas up six spots into fifth. Cremations up three spots into sixth. William Russell drops three to seventh. Darnell Matthew drops one to eighth. Edwin Mendez drops three to ninth. John Reeser stays at tenth. At owner point standings, Red Horse Racing 726, Kyle Busch Motorsport 691, Thor Sport Racing 676, NTS Motorsport 606, GMS Racing 504, Make Motorsports 423, Brad Kozlowski Racing 415, SS Greenlight Racing 358, Junior Motorsports 319, and Empire Racing 271. Next race for these guys is going to be at Iowa, it was supposed to be a few weeks, like about two or three weeks ago, but I forgot about that race, so we'll be doing it this weekend. In New Hampshire, this is Beastsports02, and I'll see you guys at the next race. Yolo swag, bye guys. I'm out of here.